Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, or ASMR videos, have been here on YouTube for years now, and science is starting to look into just what the heck is going on. And today on the show, that's exactly what I'll try to explain. I'm James Papadopoulos, and this is TechSpank. So, you know the name of the show is Tech Spank. The spank means that I typically roll my eyes at crap like this, so let's get started. According to ASMRUniversity.com, yeah, that's a thing, the term ASMR was coined by Jennifer Allen. Notice I didn't say Dr. Jennifer Allen, that's because she's a cybersecurity professional, not a doctor. It refers to a tingling sensation some people feel when they encounter certain triggers. Some people even go so far as to call it a brain orgasm. Brain orgasm, how do you even clean that up? A Q-tip? Anyway, in a 2015 research paper out of Swansea University in the UK, researchers found that sound plays a critical role in this, obviously, and the reactions can be placed on the opposite end of the spectrum as those who have misophonia, or people who hate certain sounds to the point of being physically repulsed, like people who hate chewing noises, or the sound of lips smacking, or whatever. For more on that research, check below in the description of this video. Anyway, what are some of the ASMR triggers? Well, listening to a whisper, quiet repetitive sounds, getting personal attention, slurping soup, there's role playing, there's swishing water sounds, all kinds of stuff. By far, most people who report being able to feel the tingly response find that whispering is one of the most effective triggers. So with that in mind, I decided to Skype in my cousin Dimitri, who has over 30 million viewers on his ASMR videos, to give us a demo. Hey, Dimitri. Hi there, James. It's really, really nice to see you today. What's that? I'm just saying I'm happy to be here. Huh? Hello. Okay, so Dimitri, you're clearly very popular in the ASMR scene. Could you walk us through some of your techniques? Of course, I'd be honored. So, first off, you want to make sure people feel that you're paying attention to them as if they're the only ones in the world. And whispering and eye contact, it helps because it's very personal and something only done when you're close to someone. Isn't that right, James? Uh-huh. And it could even be things like rubbing fabrics. Like this. Something that Eva Longoria did in a video a while ago, for whatever stupid reason. God, I hate her. I also like to make shushing noises with my mouth. People really start to get the tingles then. Like so. Shh. That's right. What else? Go on. Well, something else is if people are listening in stereo, I like to go back and forth and back and forth and that really gets them going. Back and forth and back and forth. Dimitri, what are you doing? What's going on in there? I hear you whispering. Who are you talking to, huh? Mom, I told you I'm busy. You keep secrets from me. You know I have ears like a hawk. Damn, who knew my family was so attractive? So, what to think? Right now, ASMR is still just a curiosity. Science is trying to catch up and actually prove if anything exists, but it's difficult since MRIs are really noisy and the EEG tests require all sorts of sensors on your scalp. And both of those things could interfere with the relaxing sensation that people are actually going for. So for now, if you like the sound of those ASMR videos, there's no hurt in watching them. And if it turns out that it's not a load of crap, then science may actually be able to use ASMR to help those with insomnia, chronic pain, and who knows what else. Well, that does it for this episode of TechSpank. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm James Papadopoulos. Thanks for watching. <laughs> that was gross. That came from like my chest. <sighs>